Take his hand. Oh, he get a good sip of water. Water makes it strong. Raise your mouth. You want to knock him out? All right. All right. You want him? You want him? You want him? Okay. Right here. You right here. You dig here. Up cut left foot, and then you step out of there. You right back into him. You know yeah, and then flat out. Roll out. With him. Roll out. They come right back. Second. Seconds out. We approach the end. Dave, did you notice the difference between the two corners? Absolutely. Terrell Fingers' corner is losing this fight for him. Here's some water. This will make you strong. That was their big instruction where Burton's guy is giving him the combination that can end the fight. Let's see if he can employ it. In the eighth and final round, Emmanuel Burton in the black with the stripe. Terrell Finger, the one who just got wobbled, that is trying to run away, and they should stop this fight. There's no reason to let this go on. Finger taking a pounding throughout the entire fight. Been bleeding profusely through the nose and miraculously has not gone down. Neither fighter down thus far. And if Burton continues to work that body, the big headshot he wants will be there. There's another hook. Good example of it. Trying to put his shots together. His corner conferred with him between rounds, saying, do you want him? Here's how you get him. Go to the body and then fire the uppercut. And there is nothing on fingers shots here. Well, he's trying to get through this fight on pride, and you wonder how much the seventh and eighth rounds will cost him. Fingers only fought six rounds since 1996, and that's certainly costing him right now. On the other side of the coin, Burton in June went 12 rounds, getting stopped in the 12th round by Alan Vester for the IBF Intercontinental title. And sometimes when a fighter looks back on a tape, what's worse than perhaps being stopped is being utterly controlled in the last two rounds of a fight and having it taken to him. That might hurt his confidence more. And you can see Burton came out, did what his corner told him in terms of trying to stop Terrell Finger. But right now, after fighting a non-stop pace for all eight rounds here, took off about 30 seconds, coming back strong right now, but uh, Finger doing everything he can. One thing his corner didn't tell him was that he needs a knockout to win this fight, and unofficially, I got him behind 69-64, and I could have made some of these even 10-8 rounds. But right now, oh, and down he goes! Finger down on his back. They shouldn't even count to 10. Stop it now. It's all over. Emmanuel Burton in stunning fashion puts a beautiful finishing touch on a fantastic performance. Stopping undefeated Terrell Finger here in round number eight. Finger still flat on his back and is now being attended to by a corner that I think was a little too brave for his own good. And, you know, if you stop the fight after round six, he's really starting to get fatigued. You tell him you come back to fight another day. When you look back on this fight, he's going to see that he ran out of gas, didn't have anything, and then was stopped. A, a debilitating psychological effect on him as well, I believe, after that. And for Emmanuel Burton, continued good pressure to the body, and he stayed with it, and he showed that you don't sit on a lead. No matter what, he came out, he continued to do what worked for him up until that point. Well, we're gonna take a look, Dave. Take us through here the action where the final stoppage comes. Now, Burton has been pounding the body incessantly. Now the headshots and that left uppercut is the end of Cumulative damage. He's been landing to the body, gets in closer. The big left hook. His corner had told him, work the body first. And there's three big headshots right there after the body. And Mer Burton goes into that dance. He knows it's over. And the finger is up. And the uppercut's been the ticket all night long. And that was a beauty. Left thrown from a little far out. And if you were with somebody that had a little bit left going, you may want not want to throw the left uppercut from that distance. But he did. Dropped it in there. And that was all she wrote. And I think you brought up a 